If you've ever lost your Apple TV remote, don't worry. I'll show you how to use your iPhone instead, and it's super simple. Apple TV remotes are great, but they're small, easy to misplace, and half the time you're searching for them. The good news is, your iPhone can take over as a remote in just a few steps. All you need to do is swipe down from the top right corner of your iPhone to open the control center. Press and hold anywhere on the screen, then tap Edit Controls. From there, scroll down until you find Apple TV Remote and hit the green plus button to add it. Once that's done, swipe up again and you'll see the Apple TV Remote option right in your control center. Tap it and it's ready to use. As long as your iPhone and Apple TV are connected to the same Wi-Fi, it will sync automatically. If you have more than one Apple TV in your home, they'll all show up and you can simply pick the one you want to control. Now, if you're using an older Apple TV like the second or third generation, the setup looks a little different, but there are still easy ways to control it without the original remote. One method is to restore your Apple TV using iTunes or Finder. Just unplug the HDMI cable, keep the power connected, and use a micro USB cable to connect your Apple TV to your computer. Open iTunes or Finder, select your Apple TV, and click Restore. Once it's done, unplug it from the computer, reconnect your HDMI, and power it back on. Another option is to use a Bluetooth keyboard. You can pair it during setup, and then use the arrow keys and enter to navigate through the menus. It works as a handy temporary remote, and if you happen to have any old IR remotes lying around, like from an old DVD player, you can even program those. Just go to Settings, then General, then Remotes, and select Learn Remote to set it up. So whether you're on the latest Apple TV or still rocking one of the older models, you'll always have a way to control it, even without the original remote.